Okay, well, let's see how I'm going to make out here. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to start doing? Since it's obvious that it's going to be factoring galore here, I'm going to start to factor the, this fraction first, and then I'll invert and multiply. And let's see if we can do a lot of steps together. If you don't like doing a lot of steps together, then let's do them all separately. But let's see if I can do some stuff here. So I'm going to put a k here. I'm just factoring this top right now. That's all I'm doing here. Um, both going to be the same sign. They're both going to be positive. And 2 and 1 works great because 2 and 1 add to give 3, so that's fine. I divide that by the bottom. You can see the value of factoring, by the way. It simplifies things in a lot of cases. Uh, both the same sign. They're both positive. Great. Uh, now, let's see. How do I combine to get uh, 4? Uh, 2 and 2 or 4 and 1? Well, 4 and 1 is good because if I add them together, I get 5. Great. OK, now I'm going to invert and multiply all in one step. So times. So now I'm going to write the bottom on top, the bottom on top. But at the same moment, I'm going to try to factor. See how I'm parallel processing here? Not a good idea if you, if you really aren't comfortable with this, by the way, but I'm OK with this at the moment. Same sign, positive. OK, has to, multi has to multiply together to give 24 and add to give 10. So 6 and 4 sounds like a good combo to me. And now the bottom, which used to be the top, but now I'm flipping since I'm dividing and now multiplying, can be factored as k and k. Same sign positive. And what do we have here? Uh, product is 6. Sum is going to be 5. That sounds like a 2 and a 3 to me. And now everything is multiplied together, so I can just cancel at will here. Let's see, does any canceling happen? Oh, sure. Are you kidding? After all that work? You think they would give us this problem if nothing would cancel? <laughs> Maybe. These guys cancel away. Oh, these guys cancel right here. Oh, look, these guys cancel right here. <laughs> and we're just left with what? k plus 6 all divided by k plus 3. And so that's the answer. You can rewrite it if you want, or you can hand in your paper just like this, including your hands. Anyway, that's the answer. And that's how you multiply and divide rational expressions.